Hey everybody, how you doing? Out at the range today with heavy metal. This is about to be a really fun video, but check this out. Got in a bulletproof vest today that we're gonna be slinging a whole bunch of bullets at. This is a vest from Safe Vest. We've got a bunch of pistols, we got a bunch of rifles. We're gonna be slinging at this, but this one, I've got a plate in the front of it. What we're gonna do for this video, I'm gonna take all the pistols and sling them just at the vest alone we've got a ton of different calibers out here and then for the rifles i'm going to put this plate back in here and we're going to do the same and sling a whole bunch of rifle calibers back at it see how that just slides down in there but should be a whole lot of fun let's show you what all we're working with here and then we're going to sling some bullets at this vest All right, so I'm gonna do this split screen. I'm gonna have the vest right here and then just show us shooting these pistols here from right here. I better get my ears on. Yeah. First, we're gonna start out with a Glock 44. That's a 22 LR. Big shout out to Gun Prime. They've got these on their site. I'm just gonna unload this whole Glock here into the center of that vest. You wanna shoot the 380s? Oh yeah. I think that's 380 time. Stay to the right, right? Yeah. The next step up, I'm gonna do some 38s out of my Taurus Model 66. I'm just gonna load it up with seven shots of 38. I guess I could have loaded this before I turned the video on. All right, so here goes seven shots of 38 special here. It's full metal jacket stuff. Step it up to nine millimeter. You want to shoot the FX9? Oh, this thing. Yeah, I like this. That's a gun prime too. How many you want me to put in it? Empty that whole thing. I think I got 25 or 30 rounds in there. Well, I don't mind if I do. Big shout out to Gun Prime. They've got these Freedom Ordnance FX9s. They're pretty sweet. Take block mags. Yeah, they're awesome. What do we got left for pistols? Uh, I'm going to shoot the 45s and then we'll go take a look at the target here. This is a Glock 21. I'm just going to empty this whole mag of 45 full metal jackets here. Snap than the uh, last thing I shot. So yeah, let's uh let's go up close, check out that vest, and see how it did so far. All right, so now walking up to it, we definitely riddled that thing with a bunch of bullets. I don't even know how many that is—30, 30, 40, actually a lot more than that. But let's open this thing up and see if the back of it has any holes of it on the inside. <coughs> So, let me open this up here. So, 
the back of that has some holes in it but you know what i think happened i think it's this metal canister i think it's these sharp edges of this metal that was already there that is making those holes because when I feel it there that bullet is still inside so it was definitely that metal cutting this fabric there aren't any holes coming out the Kevlar it's just this thin material surface that sharp edges of this tank cut that cut it open I wasn't thinking about that but let's go get some more and shoot it a bit more yeah that should uh, keep from cutting there we go and you know what we're gonna do that was the front so I'm gonna flip it around just so we have a clean surface I'm gonna shoot the back which you can see too See what I'm saying about that cutting the surface? This is the back that we didn't even shoot and that metal tank cut this stuff up a little bit. So I'm gonna flip it around on this clean surface and we'll see if it comes through. We'll just shoot it at the bottom there so we know that we weren't shooting it up there. All right, now we're gonna shoot the bottom part of this vest and we got it a blanket in there so we know that metal tank isn't going to cut it up. Alright, next, 357 Magnum. And this is a Taurus 66. I'm going to do seven shots. Try to get them all towards the bottom half there, like I said. Next, we got my Taurus. Raging Judge Magnum. This thing shoots 410, 45 Colt, and 454 Casul. First, I'm going to shoot a, a 410 Slug. Then, I'm going to shoot two 45 Colts, 250 Grainers. Then, I'm going to shoot two 454 Casuls that are 250 Grainers. Let's see how this works out. Here's the slug. And the 45 Colt. And the 454 Casul here. Oh yeah! That's a handful. That's got some pop. Yeah. Now Big fireball. You want to shoot the 10 millimeter? Alright. Uh -huh. That's the CMMG Banshee. It'd help I take safety off, wouldn't it? Oh, cool. And that one, that's the Desert Eagle Magnum Research 50AE Desert Eagle. Well, let's go check the back of that thing now and see if anything came through the back. All right, now going up to this, you can see all those shots from those heavier, more powerful pistol calibers there. But let's open this up. See if any holes came out the back. What do we got? Something made it through. So one of those made it through. It's hard to say which one, but that's how you can tell the difference because of that uh, 
red fabric there. This is from where the metal just tore it. This one too, see there's no hole there. But this one, one of those made it through there. Actually, you know what? It didn't make it through. We'll have to go back and look at the footage, but the, uh, the Kevlar doesn't have a hole in it. But the force of it just ripped this uh, whatever, this layer that holds the Kevlar in. But the bullet, there's no hole in the Kevlar or whatever that fabric is down in there. But I think we're about to put some holes in it, but let's see. Let's uh, go get the 5.7. Actually, you know what? I want to put the 5.7 on that, uh, that plate. All right, now we're going to test this plate that you can drop in here. And we're after every caliber, we'll pull it out and take a look and see if anything made it all the way through. But let's see what happens. Yeah, that'll work out. Next, I'm going to shoot a Magnum Research BFR in 350 Legend. I'm going to shoot this. Oh yeah, this thing's sweet. Need to clean this revolver. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and grab the Magnum Research BFR in 450 Bushmaster. This one's got some power on it. How many did I load in there? I think three. Oh, that did hard. Yikes. All right, let's go check it out after those two huge old revolvers. So, those definitely hit that hard. And, uh, I don't think that is made to be shot with a rifle a hundred times in a row. Oh my goodness. There's definitely ceramic stuff falling out everywhere. Yeah. There's like bullet dust and ceramic dust falling out the bottom, but you see all those bullets that it stopped, all those little bullet fragments. Look at that. You're kidding me. Stopped them. Stopped 350 Legend and 450 Bushmaster, which are powerful deer hunting rounds. Let's uh let's do 556 and 300 Blackout next and see what we can do to it. That's impressive. That's a strong plate. Need to shoot bottom right. Bottom right, yeah. You take his last two shots. I thought for sure that thing would be destroyed by now. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Shoot it like right there. Yeah, because we're shooting beast at it. Alright, now I'm going to be shooting my 556. This is my CMMG 556 Resolute rifle. I'm going to shoot it. I think I loaded four rounds down in here. Zoomed in. Let me stand back a little bit. This is my uh, CMMG Resolute 300 Blackout. Same rifle as that previous one, but this one's in 300 Blackout. All right, so there was four rounds of 556 five, and four rounds of 300 Blackout. Let's go see what happened. Yeah, those are some pretty common calibers there. Yeah. I've already shot this thing a ton, but let's see what what's happened to it now. Alright, there's where I was aiming at it. That spot that was unused there. And same story. This plate, even though we had already blown quite a bit of it to pieces, 
it still stopped all of that five five six you can see where I shot it all right there nothing so let's grab the 308 uh, yeah that's got a lot more juice on it and if the 308 doesn't go through then we'll just grab the 50 BMG but let's see if it'll stop some 308 I just think it's weak enough now. Yeah. I can't be. believe that it stopped everything we throwed at it though. I mean, that's amazing. That thing's eat up, but here goes the 308. Alright, now, oh, the big boy. This is my CMMG Endeavor in 308 Winchester. Absolute ridiculous rifle you want to shoot all these nah rock and roll it man all right well this is the beast right here the old powerhouse i think i loaded at least maybe 10 rounds in there let's see what she does with the 308 probably tell in the camera that thing was definitely pushing me back that 308's got some power and we're only at 10 yards I failed to mention that all these shots pistols and rifles are all at 10 yards that's real close for a rifle all right now did the 308 defeat this vest here oh, we got like flowers coming down from the sky Paul says he thinks the 308 went through this oh yeah Yep, there were a couple 308s that went through. Um, one right there, and then one right there. But then again, we had already shot it with 5.56, 300 Blackout, 350 Legend, and 450 Bushmaster. But looks like it stopped all of those 308s except for two shots, which. I don't know, may or may not have been spots that we had already shot a whole lot with some other stuff, but pretty crazy there. We might as well shoot it with the 50 BMG while we got it out here just to finish out this video, but I'm going to try to shoot the 50 right around there somewhere. All right, last, I'm going to shoot that plate with the Barrett M99 50 BMG. I think I can hit it. Man, I'm actually going to put this down because my arms are wore out from holding all this up. Ready? Ready. Oh yeah, that hit it real good. I like it. Let's go see if it went through. Alright, so that, that one uh, jumped pretty hard. I don't know if you can see, but actually smoke coming out of the back here I don't know why or how but there's smoke coming from somewhere but yeah that 50 tore right through there pretty cool stuff though that uh that plate and that vest really surprised me I didn't know that those things could be so tough pretty cool stuff but thanks again for watching the video today guys the safe vest was able to stop all the pistol calibers and this vest oh wow this actually has a bullet in it uh, this uh, plate here stopped all of our rifle rounds that was really surprising right here actually is a a 308 bullet I just pulled out of that here just sitting here but that was very impressive that it even stopped 454 Casul and 50 AE but what was even more impressive to me was this plate just sticking a plate right in front of that stopped all the rifle calibers even a 308 super super impressive but thanks for watching guys big shout out to safe fest you guys go check them out they'll be the first link in the description but yeah if you want to 
affordable vest that could save your life, check them out. Big shout out to Heavy Metal. You guys go check them out and subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to subscribe to the Hootie Hoo channel. We'll see y'all next time. Hootie Hoo!